simple introduction to Treggs, regulatory T cells, in disease, Treggs and drugs. In the past, doctors were puzzled as to the cause of most diseases. Some diseases were clearly due to infection. However, the cause of even the common diseases such as diabetes, epilepsy, stroke, heart attacks and asthma remain mysterious. Indeed, doctors applied prefixes such as essential, idiopathic or creptogenic which mean of unknown or hidden origin. Examples include essential hypertension and idiopathic epilepsy. That is until now. Immune system abnormalities are increasingly being discovered in many diseases. The most important of these is the discovery of regulatory T cells or TREGs. What are TREGs? TREGs are types of white cells called lymphocytes which suppress the immune system. TREGs control the activity of the immune system. The TREG cells involved include lymphocytes known as CD4 plus and CD25 plus lymphocytes. When TREGs are less active the immune system becomes more activated. When TREGs are more active the immune system becomes less activated. TREGs either enhance or suppress immune system activity. It could be said that TREGs are the conductor of the immune system's orchestra. What does the immune system do? A normally functioning immune system 1. Controls infection 2. Controls inflammation. 3. Controls cancer. The immune system is balanced in health. Cancer and infection are under regular surveillance and destroyed to maintain good health. Inflammation is controlled in order to reduce damage to the body. How are infections and cancer cells destroyed by the immune system? There are cells called dendritic cells or macrophages which eat or ingest infection and cancer. Digestion or the breaking down of the infection or cancer follows ingestion. Parts of the digested infection or cancer are then exposed to the rest of the immune system by dendritic cells or macrophages. The dendritic cells or macrophages are then called antigen-presenting cells. The antigen-presenting cells present the digested material now known as an antigen as MHC or major histocompatibility to complexes on their cell wall. At this stage it should be said that other substances such as food are also dealt with in the same manner as infection and cancer by the dendritic cells and macrophages. What happens next? Tregs identify antigens as self or non-self. Antigens are divided into two types, exogenous and endogenous. Examples of the exogenous antigens are the following 1. Infection. 2. Ingested substances or ingestants such as food and drink. 3. Inhaled substances or inhalants such as pollen and atmospheric pollutants. 4. Contact substances such as deodorant and soaps. If TREGs identify antigens as non-self in the immune system becomes activated the antigens become immunogens. The immune system activation is called the immunogenic response. The second type of antigen is made by the body itself and is then called endogenous. Endogenous antigens include 1. Substances made in excessive quantities due to genetic defects resulting in abnormal metabolism. 2. Substances made in normal quantities but structurally abnormal due to genetic defects and abnormal metabolism. 3. Cancer cells resulting from uncontrolled division of cells due to various causes often genetic. Even though that body may these substances the immune system may regard the substance as non-self. If endogenous substances are identified as non-self the Treg cells allow the immune system to become more active and the substance is regarded as an autoimmunogen. What is the immunogenic response? The immunogenic response results in other lymphocytes becoming activated. These lymphocytes are known as helper T cells. There are various types of response known as Th helper 1, Th2, Th3 and Th17 responses. Abnormal tread control of the immunogenic response is now regarded as the underlying cause of many modern diseases, for example, allergy, atopy, and autoimmune diseases. An abnormal Th1 response is associated with allergy and an abnormal Th2 response is associated with autoimmune disease. The helper cells release substances called cytokines for instance tumor necrosis factor or TNF. Cytokines result in further inflammation. Eventually white cells called killer T lymphocytes destroy the immunogen. Genetic predisposition. It also appears that the genetic makeup of the individual is important in the development of the immune response. This is referred to as genetic predisposition to disease. 
In summary, Treg syndromes are diseases which are the result of an abnormal immunogenic response to an immunog or autoimmunogen in a genetically predisposed individual resulting in organ inflammation or cancer. The abnormal immunogenic response is related to abnormal Treg activity. Coronary artery disease is an example of a Treg syndrome. The advances in current treatments are increasingly related to addressing the immunological basis of diseases. Coronary artery disease is one example. Quite recently arteriosclerosis or hardening of the arteries has been considered to be an immunologically based disease. Lymphocyte populations in coronary arteries affected by arteriosclerosis were found to be abnormal. Of course, there is the possibility that the abnormal lymphocytes were present from birth that is congenital or inherited or acquired following immunogen exposure for instance excessively high blood cholesterol levels or infection. It has been known for some time that patients with abnormally high blood inflammation markers for instance C-reactive protein or CRP have an increased risk of developing coronary arteriosclerosis. This would correlate with an ongoing abnormal immunogenic response in the coronary arteries. The group of drugs known as statins which were developed to reduce low-density lipoprotein or LDL also known as bad cholesterol have recently been discovered to have effects on the immune system for instance protecting against infection. It may well be that the statins do not reduce the risk of heart attacks or myocardial infarction by simply reducing the LDL number but in fact act on the arterial lymphocytes and the immunogenic response. Statins are currently being sought for the use of statins to enhance Treg activity thus reducing the immunogenic response in coronary artery disease and many other diseases including multiple sclerosis and Parkinson's disease.